So we're going to try it again. Because you know me. I don't give up easily. Let's talk about magic, baby. Let's talk about alchemy, baby. Let's talk about the fact that I'm getting ready to drop T-Mobile in a bit. Because you know what? Your service is not uh, conducive to what I need. Let me tell you this. And I have the air on, but... I get wound up so tight that I could just snap. You know what I mean? This is, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Consider like if you were to meet my parents, who would be like meeting the Fockers. Everybody can't say that. Everybody doesn't have those type. There's that dog humping that leg. Some dog. So some. <laughs> Some people are just like that, uh, just a dog humping on your leg. You know what? Just a dog wanting to hump. Hump anything. Hump anything. Gender not specific. Man, woman, just want to hump anything and everything. This gender, this narrative, this agenda, this agenda that came from me. I was going to walk and talk and travel. You know me. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't stay. I'm going to just say this. Thank you. For what all of you have done to me and they know who i'm talking to thank you i could not have been the top gun that i am had it not been for you i needed to see exactly what i needed to see the people who have done this let's walk and talk or maybe not i don't know it is what it is i'm 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 amazed i'm in the kitchen now so are we gonna are we, are we gonna sit with this for a moment okay well then let's do this so the people who've come, the people who've come for me in 2022, and even longer before that, okay, community leaders, community teachers, community preachers. This is the best sermon that you'll ever get. You say you don't believe in magic, yet magic is casted upon you every Sunday, every church, every service. You got candles in. You got candles. In, you know, people start talking about candle magic, but you have candles in all the churches and all of the services, reminding you, you grow up on, you eat the body of Christ. And you drink the blood of Christ. If that's not cannibalism, I don't know what is. Regardless of how you, regardless of the nice little picture you point at, that's cannibalism, honey. You eat of the body and you drink of the blood. You don't even understand your own words, but your children do. Your children are watching you. And then you have the nerve to turn around and be top, wonderful, prestigious leaders and preachers and teachers and politicians or whatever. But you're screwing everybody. You're screwing everybody in the congregation. You're screwing on your wife. You're screwing on your husband. You're screwing on your kids. You are screwing your kids. You know, half of you are gay for pay or just playing gay and doing whatever you do. Like, why is every choir director in every church gay? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Maybe not everyone, but it's funny how it seems to be a narrative. It seems to be an agenda. And again, it's not even a matter of what you choose. It's a matter of what you do and your views on how you do. Because you act like, well, only God can judge me. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right about that. You are absolutely right about that. So let's talk about the people who have tried to judge me when I'm the one that was re actually the one really helping the community, the one actually doing good. This uh, got cut off from the video before, but I'm going to say it again. If there was a supreme being, if there was a higher power, if there was a higher intelligence, who do you think or who do you think that they would choose to protect? Would they protect? Because there are some that everybody is not the same value. All things are valuable. All life is valuable, but all things are not the same value. You have a, a, a fly to a, to a, to a fly. A fly's life is valuable. But if you got flies in your house, you're going to swat those flies, right? I swat them and, I, and, I, and I'm burning them right now. I'm burning because, you know, well, this, this is a whole magic thing again. So this is me during the reversal spell, like I want them to see, okay, when you come into my vicinity, when you come into my property, not only will I swat you down, I will burn you. Part of that Makali energy coming out of me is hot and I have the AC off and I'm in a hot trailer, you know, so it's a hot box. Um, during the summertime, it's the hottest of the hot and during the wintertime, it's the coldest of the cold. Who is jealous of me? And I'm just a little ranger, baby, but I thought even you...
What? So many, we've had so many amber alerts in the last several days. See, it's that thing, okay? And so I realized that children are at risk right now. So I realized why, you know, number one, I seem to be protected highly, or maybe you don't see it, or I seem I seem to know why things are coming after me because you want to get the child. You are trying to get children. We all know why. Some of these things are conspiracy. Some of these things are quite true. But did you ever ha did you ever care to wonder why so many people seem to be after me and not you? Why would I be making this up? I've been the ma I've been a main I've been a mainstay and a source of upliftment and entertainment in this community in everything since I've been since I've been talking since I've been walking from grade school to now who was the one that was giving you that music on the radio me who was the one that was giving you that energy at the poetry shows me who was the one that was spitting that knowledge and spitting that truth me who was the one that was really spitting that activism me but now you now you continue to pick up these Fake ass people, these fake trenders, these 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 these, these butt benders. That's what I call them. You know these these uh what you call rent address. That's what we just got. Everybody's got these rent address. You know what? The reason why I grew my hair and I, I'm and I'm letting it grow when everybody was cutting off their hair in the last couple of years, yo. So I guess they could all look like Jada or a ball headed clone. I don't know. Do what you do. Maybe you know I, I you know don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there have been times, remember, I cut all my hair off at least three times. I have been known. My parents knew that. I'm a whiz with a, sis, a pair of scissors and a knife. You know, I mean, one, you know, they, they go to work or whatever, and I got hair, you know, down to my shoulders. They come back, and I got hair on the floor. <laughs> it's not like the first or second or third time I've done it. Yo, so hair, to a certain degree, is just hair. But the reason why I grew my hair was because people who had dreads, murdered my husband. No justice, no peace. Do you know how long it has taken for me to get used to looking at people who look like me, especially with dreads, and I'm not looking at you like you're a killer or not somebody that I want to... And it's that part. When people who look like this, who know I have done what I needed to do to try to help you and teach you and support you and you're going to come at me like you came at my husband and, and, and just dismiss me for a trend if you believe in magic right now then I hope you're feeling it because I'm getting it in this is me clapping back this is me clapping back bitch I am not Will Smith okay I'm not going to slap you like a sissy I'm going to hit you where it hurts okay let's talk about some real shit Alchemists, what would Jesus do when there were no J's? There were no J's, so there's not a Jesus in Christianity, okay? So what are you trying to say? Why don't you why don't you start with being honest? Be impeccable with your word. Be impeccable with your word. This is a card I need to get right now because I read that I'm going to put this, which is actually a video that I'm probably going to drop on Wednesday. But this card needs to be dropped today. Hang on, sisters, on Sunday, you're going to get that sermon. Hang on a minute. Be impeccable with your word. You talk about following the Ten Commandments, Twelve Commandments, Hundred Sewers, whatever it is that you do. Hold on to four agreements. The Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz. Read that book. I love the people that I read that too. And I read that too, Val. And I got that book too, Val. Well, bitch, you don't act like you have read it at all. I am so sick and tired of these teachers who think they taught me. You know what? It's really, really Whoops. Sorry about that. It's really sad. It's really sad 
when your so-called teachers become jealous of you because they feel like you've outgrown them. And maybe I have. People are supposed to grow. It's true. But when you got these people who want to hold you down to a level that's beneath them because they can't rise themselves up, that's how you get, that's how you get stuck in the mud and you get stuck because you're listening to people who are not, aren't leading you anywhere. They aren't leading you anywhere. And that's the magic trick. That's the magic trick. First and foremost, be impeccable with your word. If you can't do this one thing, then everything you do ain't shit. Said it minute. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. It's thundering too. Ooh, daddy's coming through. Daddy says, look at his baby girl. It must be that slow glow. Let's talk about alchemy and magic, you know. Every time I ever wanted to go to uh, uh, Mardi Gras, none of my friends, and just about most of my friends have been to Mardi Gras at least once. None of my friends and none of the people I knew didn't want me to go. None of them. None of them. None of them. Like, nope, nope, nope. I'm like, why? Why? You think I'm going to do it? Eve's by you or something? Let me close this because all the flies be coming in. I'm not... I am, I, am, I am not Miss Peregram's habitat for pests, okay? And there are some two-legged pests that keep wanting to come in. It's the two-legged pests. It's the two-legged snakes. I'm learning about snakes, but it's the two-legged snakes. It's the walking ones that, you know what? Gatana Val, Michonne. Learning how to take them off like the walking dead. Anyway, about alchemy, though. Magic. Please believe that magic is real. And it's more that when you got to believe in it, whether you believe in it or not, it's like faith. Whether you believe in it or not doesn't mean that it's not. I mean, you know, you can like not believe in God. You cannot believe in God. That doesn't mean that God doesn't exist. That just means you just don't believe in God. But that doesn't mean that God doesn't exist. It's thundering and lightning now. Somewhere. And raining. Weather happens. Nature happens. Whether you believe in nature or not, nature happens. Whether you believe in Mother Nature or not, nature happens. Nature will always win. Man and mankind just doesn't get it, my friend. That's how man and mankind ends up being extinct with evolution. They extinct themselves because of their own lies. The bad magic they did tell upon themselves. They build the towers of Babel to nowhere. We're searching for God when they need to be finding and look, looking for it in themselves. And then they want to talk about the frauds and they want to talk about this person's doing magic and this person doing magic. But this person is selling you a, a, a prayer cloth for $29.99. They won't help you pay your bills. And every time you need help after you done paid for the pastor's salary, the pastor's wife's salary, the pastor's children's birthday, the pews and everything else. The windows, the stained glass and stuff like that. Then you come in need. You can't even go to your own church. But they'll pray for you. P-R-E-Y and P-R-A-Y sounds the same thing with some people. That's what they do. So let's talk about some of these preachers and these teachers and these politicians who came for me. doing the, and, and put me in their little magic stew. Especially in 2022. And they got the industry too. I can name some names in the industry. And you know the people that I helped. You know the people who advanced up. And I can't say I did this by myself of course not because they did the work they did the work but I did the work too and it's not like I was asking anything from any of them but what I didn't expect for was for them to turn on me the way they did and the way you did and you know who I'm talking to every single one of you they say Val when you pointing at fingers I know I got three pointed at me no I got all three pointed at me I want you to know who's coming for you those three fingers is pointing at me boom Back at you. Let's talk about magic. Let's talk about alchemy. What am I? I don't know. I'm still learning. I am. Who knows? Still learning. But who knows me? My kin? They don't know me. They never knew me. My grandmother on my daddy's side was, was grooming me and studying me and learning me. My grandfather on my mama's side was studying me and learning me and teaching me. There's land on both sides. There's land, lots of land, that if you look in the records, you see vacant, 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 owner, not occupied, blah, 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 blah. Now, if I really was that type of dastardly, dastardly 
business type of which I should. I would sh I should like literally just just lock all that land up right now and get it. But they've always wanted to, me to clean it up. But they never wanted to give me my share. That's why when my angels came to me, and they really did. And somebody was there. Somebody that turned against me. And that's so sad because I thought more of you than that. Wow. Did they get you in that trap? I thought you were a soldier. You couldn't even be a soldier for yourself. And I know you're too embarrassed to ask for my help. Because you're not going to ask anybody for help. I get it. I get it. I got a little bit of that energy in me too. But I'm also the type that I know how to grow. So I don't, I'm not so as egocentric as you. You know, a Leo who cannot look at themselves. All signs. It's not just one sign. It's all signs. It, it, from, Aries, from Aries to, uh, what's the last sign? From Aries to, to, to Capricorn. All signs. All low vibing signs are catching hell. You see the signs that are catching hell. You see the ones who are on a low vibe right now. I don't care if they're Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Tauruses, uh, uh, Cancers. Who am I leaving out? Uh, Cancers, Leos, Virgos, uh, Scorpios, Sagittarius's. Uh, Capricorns, Aquariuses, whatever. All of them. All of them. All of them. You can tell the ones that are low vibing right now because they're shady. They're flaky. They're they're fumbling with their words. They're fumbling with their words or they're hiding. They're hiding. And you can see in their eyes. Say, Look at the eyes. The eyes always tell. The eyes can't lie. That's why people wear shades a lot of times. Some of us wear shades because we just don't want you to see our eyes anymore. Because eyes are the windows to the soul. And some wear shades because they're lying. Be impeccable with your word. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. That's what it says on the cards. I've had these cards for a while. I've been following the four agreements for a while. It's funny how, you know, I was having lunch with someone and then, you know, I was talking about the four agreements and then, you know, they show up and they put the four agreements. Like I, like I didn't see it. I saw everything that you were showing. Were you giving me a cue? Not that cue, because we know I don't mess with that cue, and we all know why. And the fact that you did, let me say this. Keep those bitches away from me to my to my security. Handle them handle handle them as you so see fit. I won't miss shit. The funny thing about me, my cutoff game is like crazy cut off. My cutoff game is my cutoff game has always been insane. But that dastardly shit that they did to me last year, oh my god. If I didn't have God in me, if I did not have God. Okay, the cat just flushed it off. <laughs> be the foggers. I know, I know. Mommy, that's it. Okay, you, 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 you're getting heated up again. Get, get, smile, laugh. Laugh this off. It's good when you're laughing. It's good when you're laughing because when you're laughing, you're not capping. And trust me, they don't want you to cap. People say, no cap, no cap, no cap. But when I cap, you know, when I cap back, yeah. The dog is blue. <laughs> I love myself some Dustin Hoffman too. You know what? All these people, these are like really stars. What stars? What legacy? And they talk about legacy too. What legacy are you leaving? Because if you're leaving a legacy of drug addiction, if you're leaving a legacy of poverty, if you're leaving a legacy of bad bitch, there's always someone who sees you. If you don't believe anything, and, and this is not to scare you. 
this is not to scare you, but there's always someone or something that sees you. Always. Always. That's a fact. That is no cap. There's always. That's why I strike this in this movie too. You know what? All these people in this movie. Yeah, look at you. You look I'm yeah, you do. I have a All these people I could actually hang with yeah. and have a real good conversation. Hey, Most of you cannot. You say we're ready for everything, but you, you, oh. honestly, <laughs> he is a handsome little fucker. <laughs> I love it the way you guys did this movie. Brilliant, brilliant. I love brilliant people like this. I don't find people who, like, all they want to do is bad bitches and bad thugs. Thugs a little bad boy, bad drugs, all this good drugs, good joke, bad joke, whatever the fuck. What type of legacy is that? Y'all are so sus. That is like the industry that's going to go straight to the tank when the depression hits. And the depression's already hitting. Oh, wait, you didn't think impression is you should have been listening to some of your parents and your grandparents kids but you listen to the dumb shroomy kids or some shroomy ass bitch who you know literally wants to push you know psychedelics on kids who can't even handle basic weed because of her own selfish needs or maybe his own selfish needs it's a family you know what like i said i'm getting ready to change my phone servers because this doesn't make any cut off communications and that's what they want they want to cut off communication He's right. technology Jack talking about how important technology is in helping technology is wonderful at helping to find out to root out the problem technology can also be the problem wow it catches it in the bathroom but not in the, you know what this makes no sense with the phone thing that's why I'm changing out my service when things don't work for you don't put up with it. Delete it. You have options. You always have a choice. You always have a better choice if a choice is not working for you. You always have a better choice if a choice is not working for you. Don't let bad magic convince you that you don't have a better choice. Don't let ma bad magic convince you that you are not the first choice. If you don't put your own self in the equation first, I'm going to wait on God. I'm going to wait on God. Well, God's waiting on you. Now, as far as these other, as far as this industry and these people who are gang stalking me, and, and 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 trust me, like I said, magic is real. It's like God, whether you believe it or not, doesn't matter. It still exists. It's like nature. Nature, nature always gonna have the last say, whether you believe it or not. You can pray that God comes home, but when that hurricane comes through and when that flood comes through, unless you are really in a very high vibrational space in your life, you can say Jesus, 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 Jesus a billion times and you will still drown. As the people in Katrina, I'm sure a lot of Christians died. As these people in the, in the fires, as a lot of firefighters, as a lot of people in, in the military who've died in war. I bet you a lot of people believed in Jesus, but they died. Well, it's the difference. You have to be responsible for your own life, okay? You have to make sure that some you have to make sure that somebody else's bad magic doesn't have your eyes off the prize. These people who this entity, like I said, don't be me. Cause I called a Sazel by a Sazel. It's like in the movie Fallen. Don't ever be me, boys and girls. That's the difference between me and any of these other people. I've never said Follow me, follow me, or be like me, or be a clone. Because I'm telling you, being me will get you killed. Because you're not me. You're not of this legacy. You're not of this DNA. You're not of this energy. Even my own family doesn't know me. There were no J's. But Issa, whoever, whatever that energy was, Mitra, whatever that energy was, was different than their whole family. And that's why he had to walk away. Because he was different. Like my parents had to walk away. And never went back across that bridge except to visit their family. But they never chose that area to live. There's a lot of land that's vacant that these people own that should be part of mine. That angels, actual angels said, we're going to get your own. And I'm like, I don't want it. For the simple fact of by this time, if nothing can be grown on it, and there used to be a time when so much stuff was grown on it. I mean, the best of farmlands, the best of cows, horses, chickens, pigs, crops, 
greens, collard greens, watermelon, corn, peas, and that's both my vegetables, fruits, and that's both sides of the tree, both 